Hey, we are live on a Thursday night. It is April 4th. It is uh, April the 4th, uh, 2024. And it's your good friend. It's your pal. It's your padre. It's TC, everybody. How you doing? That's right. Audrey is with me. Uh, Jennifer's back at Command HQ. And we are uh, ready to have some fun. Talk about vinyl records. Talk about music in general. I've got some notes here I'll be talking about here. They involve Pearl Jam, Kiss, and ABBA. So that's very cool. And uh, one of the things um, Audrey and I were talking about just now, and then before that, last night, Jen and I were talking about after I got home, was that we've kind of, there's kind of like a, a sense of community that started to develop among um, some, some, of, some of you who tune in, which is cool. And if you're local, perhaps um, you'll meet some people that uh, join us in the uh, little live stream every uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday night, if you happen to be in the store, I'd certainly introduce you um, to another live stream participant. Uh, Jeff Lloyd is with us. Uh, hey, Jeff, how you doing, buddy boy? Good to see you. And uh, yeah, we're going to get started here and just uh, pretty quick, uh, some cool stuff. We got some restocks that have come in, including some kind of live bootlegs. Our distributor now is doing some live bootlegs, you know, <sighs> So that's kind of cool. It's like old Pearl Jam, old ACDC. And then we've got uh, kind of some killer vinyl here. I, I like to think it's killer vinyl for a, a Thursday night. And then there's one seven inch. It's actually a Faith No More seven inch. And then uh, we've got uh, after that, uh, well, there's actually some, also some more pre-owned vinyl over there. And then we'll uh, run through some $4 records in case you want to uh, uh, grab a $4 record. So one of the things I first want to mention is uh, if you're a first time uh, watching, I appreciate you tuning in. And if you're watching for the 18th time, well, that's uh, very cool as well. If you see something you like, all you got to do is uh, kind of shout it out into the chat. You know, you don't have to type in all caps because obviously all caps sometimes is all rude in uh, in uh, chat. But uh, yeah, just shout it out into the into the chat, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll hold it for you whether you're in um, Bend, Oregon, or whether you're in Tampa Bay, just outside of Tampa Bay, perhaps in Florida. So wherever you are in the U.S., um, yeah, we can uh, make sure we get it to you. So that's kind of uh, what I wanted to talk about. Uh, Audrey's giving me the thumbs up, but I also want to mention um, um, we have a Pearl Jam party coming up. It was announced today. So the new Pearl Jam record, I think, is pretty sexy from what I've heard. Dark Matter is a great song. Running is very punky. Uh, and I kind of love it. I've never been a huge Pearl Jam fan, but I'm kind of excited for this. And we're doing a Pearl Jam listening party on Sunday, April 14th. At 1 o'clock, the album comes out the 19th, so you're going to be able to hear that record beforehand. Plus, we'll have what the record company tells me is a ton of posters, enough for everybody who shows up, which is very cool. We'll also have uh, slip mats, uh, Pearl Jam slip mats, for the first 20 people that show up at the uh, listening party. At least that's my understanding of what we're going to be getting. Also, we're going to be pa getting patches, so if you want to pre-order uh, the vinyl, you can do that. I think, uh, Audrey, uh, that one young lady that uh, mentioned is, is here. So you can uh, go let her in and we'll take care of that. And then uh, we're, there's actually actually also going to be a Pearl Jam tote bag. Um, and I'm guessing it's going to be pretty cool. Maybe like a record bag. So, uh, yeah, we'll have that. Uh, we'll have that coming in. Um, so Lynette picking up the... Uh, Picking yeah, up the, I really uh, tried to get here by six. I'm so sorry. No, that's cool. We're Thanks doing so actually a live me. stream, so say hello to uh, America. Oh. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. And then the other thing I wanted to mention is that uh, Kiss uh, sold their catalog uh, to, in, in, for all intents and purposes, they sold their catalog to ABBA because the guy, Bjorn from ABBA, actually owns a, a company called Pop House, and Kiss sold their entire catalog, their likeness, everything for like $300 million. So that's kind of crazy. So anyways, I got some, uh, got some faith no more tonight, which I'm very excited about um, because I know we've got some faith no more fans. So we'll see if, if the faith more, no, if the faith no more fans are interested. I know we've got uh, Jeff who's a faith no more guy. And then we've also got uh, a young lady that comes in the store. Her name is Jennifer. 
and she's a huge Faith No More fan as well. So um, let's let's get this started with uh, this Faith No More seven inch that we got in. It's uh, Faith No More. It's falling to pieces. It's kind of hard to see. Let me actually pull it out of the jacket here. There you go. Very nice copy. And it's a seven inch. And what's fun about this is that the B side is a live version of We Care a Lot, and then also on the other uh, the the second song on the B side is Underwater Love live as well. So very cool. Uh, we graded the uh, vinyl at uh, excellent, and it's twenty nine dollars if you're interested in the uh, seven inch of Faith No More's Falling to Pieces. I've been listening to more and more Faith No More, not because Jeff's into it, not because Jennifer, uh, who comes in the store, not my Jen, but another Jen. And I'm, I'm digging Faith No More more and more. So it's uh, it's very good stuff. So if you're interested in that, uh, let me know. And uh, Audrey is a little preoccupied now. Can you check the uh, chat just in case? Uh... Okay, so far so good? Cool. All right. Next up on the agenda is this John Hughes classic. It is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. It is an original um, press, uh, and it is uh, a VG++ copy. The jacket is got a little bit of a, a little bit of an issue there. It's got a little ring wear because it's a white album. It's got a little notch cut. And it's a promo. I think all of these, for some reason, I don't know why. I know it has a barcode. But I swear that this record is so limited. I think it was um, basically a, um, a promo that went out to like movie, movie studios or theaters, radio stations, just to promote the movie more than anything from back in 88. Because they weren't producing a lot of vinyl in 1988. So um, the cost on this, because it's such a rare record to find, I've never seen it. I think it's fantastic. I love the movie. It's $99. And it's got everything that you'd expect except for every time you go away. Uh, the end song, uh, but it's got um, it's it's got it's got. We were listening to this in the store the other day, and it's just like you just hear all these songs, whether it's back in baby's arms or um, there's there's just a ton of stuff where you hear the song six days on the road, and you remember the scene uh, where it took place. So uh, very cool record. Um, so there you go. Uh, here's another monster kind of. This is a sealed copy that came in. This is uh, Faith No More Succession, season one. It's a sealed copy. It's numbered. It's on money green vinyl. It's never been opened. Uh, it is number 520. And the price on this, yeah, you're going to choke. But people love this. And the music is actually fantastic. Uh, it's $249, $249. So. Yeah, it's crazy. So there you go. Succession, season one of, I don't think they've actually done season two or anything else. It was just, I think the one, one and done, I think. I don't think there was a season two of music, but yeah, Money Green Vinyl limited to a thousand copies for two forty nine. If you were a big fan of the show, I enjoyed that show. I'm a business boy. I loved, um, I loved uh, Succession. It's not The Sopranos by any means, but it's still, it was a, it was a fine show. So there we go. All right. Yeah, no problem. So Lynette uh, picking up a copy. Last night we had Pink Floyd the Wall in and Lynette picking that up for herself. So thanks, Lynette, for stopping in. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right. Have a good night. All right. So Audrey will be, uh, I, uh, my, uh, my uh, iPad disappeared. So I'll have to uh, find out what's been going on in the chat. And Audrey will be catching up. What's that? So reconnect. Oh, it's reconnecting to the chat. Okay. Oh, I see what happened. So we're playing catch up a little bit here. And there you go. Thank you, Audrey. Um, say, so there you go. Hey, Denise, how you doing tonight? Um, yeah, Glenn. Glenn's in the chat. Very nice. And uh, yeah, so there we go. All right, cool. So let's continue on. Ooh, now that we have everything back to normal. Let me take a drink of water here really quick. All right, so this album was released in Europe, in very various European countries back in the day. Uh, Rhino, which is the Warner Brothers label, put this out, I think, in the mid-2000s. And then, very pleased to say that Music on Vinyl, who you've heard me talk about, did a version of this in 2013. And this is the 2013 vinyl on black vinyl. And it is a two LP 
Uh, let's see, is it? Yeah, 2 LP. <laughs> and uh, the vinyl is in excellent condition. The jacket is in excellent condition. Everything as an original. And it is 149 because it is a impossibly hard record to find. So there you go. 149 for Faith No More's Angel Dust, if you're interested. Fantastic record. I, I probably prefer the first one a little more at this point in my life, but I think eventually I will that my my mind will change when it comes to uh Angel Dust versus uh the first Faith No More record. Uh, up next, John Hughes, Some Kind of Wonderful. This is $69. Uh, once again, all these John Hughes records are really hard to find, whether it's Pretty in Pink, Weird Science, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, stuff like that. This one's got a little bit of a saw cut here as well. It's got, it uh, looks pretty good. There's a little, there's a little small little crease there. There's a little crease down here on the bottom. But yeah, if you're, um, if you're, um, if you're better half, loves themselves some uh, John Hughes and loves themselves some kind of wonderful, then uh, there you go. The vinyl is in excellent condition. And uh, yeah, some good stamp. So who's on here? So you got performed by Pete Shelley, Furniture, Blue Room, Flesh for Lulu, Stephen Duffy, Jesus and Mary Chain, The Apartments, The March Violets, uh, Lick the Tins, and The March Violets again. So $69, some kind of wonderful, very cool soundtrack. All right, what's the story, Morning Glory? They did a reissue of this as a trifold. So this thing folds out into a trifold. It's a special edition. It's $69. The vinyl is in excellent condition. It's silver vinyl. I think this was reissued in 2020, I believe. And uh, yeah, so there you go. And yes, uh, as you'd expect, uh, what's on here? Well, everything, Wonderwall, um, Champagne, Supernova. So very cool version if you're looking for an expanded trifold version of What's the Story, Morning Glory by Oasis. That is uh, $69. In Excess, this is an OG version of In Excess. I've never seen an OG version. So I was really excited when this came into the store. The vinyl is in excellent condition. The price on this is $69 because it's an 87 release. And uh, yeah, Guns in the Sky, New Sensation, Devil Inside, Need You Tonight, Mediate, Never Tear Us Apart, Mystify, Kick. Um, I just love this record. The more, as the older I've gotten, the more I go back and listen to this record. There's a little bit of ring wear there. But other than that, it's a fantastic copy. So uh, there you go. Coming out with the heavy hitters tonight. So sorry to scare everybody, uh, at least initially. Jason would like in excess. All right, Jason grabs in excess. Very cool. Jason grabs in excess. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate it. In excess kick. Yeah, I agree uh, with Jen there who commented. Kick is a perfect record. And that came out within, what, uh, six weeks of Appetite for Destruction, Hysteria, and Permanent Vacation. So there you go. Jen was saying uh, to me the other day, she was saying, you should uh, see if Audrey likes uh, Peter Gabriel. And, and sure enough, uh, she does. And Jen? Audrey did tell me today that she does have this record. Great record by Peter Gabriel. This vinyl is in excellent condition. The jacket is beautiful, except for a little bit of a issue there where the, uh, the little covers come apart. Not like come apart. It's just been kind of scratched off. So it's revealing the black of the uh, jacket. Uh, and yeah, great record. So it's a, it's, a, it's a club edition and club editions tend to sound better than their counterparts that were pressed by the record companies. I've kind of explained that. I'll skip explaining that, why that happened. But if you ever want me to go off on a die on a diatribe about that, I certainly can. That's $39, excellent condition for Peter Gabriel. Ooh, another in excess. Listen like thieves. This one's a VG plus. It's $29. And it is uh the jackets in very nice condition. Very nice. And I love this record as well. Uh listen like thieves, what you need. This time, yeah, great stuff. Red, red sun, one by one. Love in excess. And more in excess, Shabu Shaba. Now, this jacket has seen its better days. The VG is, uh, the vinyl is VG plus. The uh, vinyl, uh, the, the cost is 24. It's got some uh, edge wear on the uh, jacket. So there you go. What's uh, the one things on here, among others, uh, don't change. I love that song as well. Ooh, look at this. 
Terrence Trent Darby introducing the hard line, according to Terrence Trent Darby. Very cool. See this coming to the store. $24 VG++ copy of, uh, obviously, the big hit on this was Wishing Well. Roger will take um, Peter Gabriel. All right, cool. Roger grabs Peter Gabriel. Thank you, Roger. Very nice. All right, and we are up and running, uh, Jason. Uh, with the uh, first purchase of the night, so he can uh, do the uh, kind of in the comment section. Remember back in the comment section of the early days of the internet, people would be like, first, when anybody made a comment. Yeah, so there you go. So uh, Jason first and uh, Roger second tonight. So thank you, gentlemen. Uh, and uh, usually it's uh, Chris. Maybe, uh, no, Chris uh, Chris said he's not going to be in uh, out, of, uh, out of state this week. So, yeah. Just got to up my game, Chris. Uh, talking Heads, Speaking in Tongues, $24. A VG copy of this. The jacket is beautiful. And obviously, the big song on this one is Burning Down the House. Sade, Diamond Life, $19. VG condition on the vinyl. Very nice. Audrey and I listened to this one today. So now there's some issues if you look at this visually, on the not on the jacket, but on the vinyl. However... The more important thing, at least in my mind, is that it sounds good and there's no issues. So we listened to this record in the store today, the Escape Club Wild Wild West, which obviously had Wild Wild West on it, Shake for the Chic. Uh, it's $14. Uh, we've graded as a VG++ and we've inspected, we've listened to it, so it's been graded orally, A-U-R-A-L-L-Y. I can never say that word correctly. Is it hour, hourly? Anyways, I don't know how to say it. But, uh, yeah, so we've graded it, we've listened to it, and it's uh, fantastic. So VG++, $14 for the Escape Club. A little foreigner, say you will. Inside information. This is still sealed, $14. And it's still in the shrink. Steel Pulse. Never heard of these guys. Uh, excellent copy. 1982 stereo release. It is $14. Ooh. Who are you going to call? You know, for the longest time, I never saw Ghostbusters. I think finally, like within the last 10 years, Jen and I, or Jen sat me down and said, you need to watch Ghostbusters. And I finally did. And uh, yeah, it was a pretty darn good movie. Uh, $14, VG++ condition. It's a club pressing uh, of Ghostbusters. Obviously, the big hit on here was uh, the Ray Parker Jr. song. Uh, I'm looking to see who else was on this record. Thompson Twins, Air Supply. Interesting. Laura Branigan. Also Mick Smiley. Not familiar with him. Elmer Bernstein has some stuff on here. And then the Bus Boys. So there you go. What's up next? This is Brian May and Friends. This is Starfleet. Now you're thinking, oh yeah, Brian May a Queen. Oh, cool. So this is only, it's a full-length album, but it's only like uh, three songs. Because they go off. And who does he go off with? Brian May and Friends. So who could be a friend? I, I didn't know about this album until like last year when I discovered it. The vinyl's in excellent condition. It's $14. His friend, uh, a gentleman named Edward Van Halen. So yeah, Brian May, the man with the curly hair and the curly guitar lead. And then King Edward together. Huh, not too shabby. Uh, you're not having deja vu if you were watching us last night. This is another copy of Making Movies. This is $14. It's in VG plus condition. This is Harvest Moon by Neil Young, $9. This is a VG plus plus copy, if you're into Neil. Uh, Van Morrison, uh, St. Saint, uh, Saint, uh, Saint Dominic's Preview. Uh, it's a Terre Haute pressing from 72 and that's $9. This is The Outlaws, VG plus copy, $9. We got REO Speedwagon. You can, you, know, you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. Exactly. $9 VG plus copy. After we get done with uh, this crate, we'll recap uh, the stuff that was here earlier. Bill Withers, live at Carnegie Hall, VG copy for $9. Harvest for Jason. All right. Jason wants Harvest. Cool. Jason grabs. Oh, there it is right there. Harvest Moon goes to Jason. Very nice. Uh, what do we got up next here? Bill Withers we did. We got Soft Cell. That is Tainted Love. Where Did Our Love Go? It's a 12-inch single, and it is $9. The vinyl is in excellent condition. Very nice. The Fat Boys. Chubby Chubby, Chubby Checker and the Fat Boys, they're doing the twist. 
Uh, that is $9. The vinyl is in excellent condition. That is crushing. And is uh, the twist on here? No, the twist is not on here. So if you're looking, oh, wipeouts on here though. Very nice. Uh, REO Speedwagon, you get what you play for. I see what they did there. That's a live version. It's $9. It's an excellent condition. So what is that? A double LP for nine bucks of, uh, yeah, live REO Speedwagon. This is, looks like it's earlier live REO, but still REO Speedwagon. Once again, deja vu from last night. Another copy we have of Steve Winwood's Back in the High Life. Excellent on the vinyl. And the jacket looks fantastic. Nine dollars. Karen will take Bill Withers. Karen wants Bill Withers. All right, cool. Very nice. Ain't no sunshine. And then we've got who is this? Face the music. Oh, ELO. Nine dollars. VG plus plus copy on the vinyl for that. Oh, I know that guy. That is uh, Elvis Costello. That is Trust. Is that tr or Trist? I don't know the name of this record. Oh, it's Trust. Yeah, it is Trust. Excellent condition on the vinyl nine dollars and then finally in this crate that is alice cooper that is killer and that is vg condition on the vinyl the jacket's obviously been well loved like the vinyl nine dollars for that bad boy all right let's recap this bin here let me uh grab another drink of water here <laughs> all right cool so planes trains and automobiles one of the John Hughes Grails, hard to find, $99. Succession, still sealed, Two forty nine dollars numbered copy on, this is number 520. What is this on? Money Green Vinyl, limited to 1,000 copies. Don't know if that'll ever be pressed again. Maybe, maybe not. That is Faith No More, 149 excellent condition on the vinyl. It's a music on vinyl release from approximately 11 years ago angel dust is the album so there you go very nice uh john hughes again another soundtrack from him 69 dollars for some kind of wonderful excellent condition on the vinyl a uh, trifold double lp anniversary edition silver vinyl 69 dollars in excess 29 in excess 24 terrence trent darby 24 that is The Talking Heads, 24. Sade, 19. The Escape Club, 14. Foreigner is 14. That's a sealed copy from back in the day. Steel Pulse, 14. Who are you going to call? That's right. I'm going to call Ray Parker Jr. And then Huey Lewis is going to call his attorneys and sue him for ripping off um, I Want a New Drug, which is eerily sounds exactly like Ghostbusters. So poor Ray that is $14. Yes, $14. That is Brian May and Friends with Mr. Eddie Van Halen, $14. Dire Straits, $14. Van Morrison, $9. Outlaws, $9. Ario Speedwagon, $9. Soft Cell, Single, $9. Fat Boys, $9. REO, $9. <laughs> Steve Winwood, $9. That is EO, $9. Uh, that is Elvis Costello, not to be confused with ELO, nine, and then Alice Cooper, nine as well. All right, let's get to some new vinyl. And then this crate also has some more pre-owned vinyl. It's all sleeved and uh, graded and clean for your pleasure. Your pleasure. It's like the pleasure principle. Very nice. All right. All right. Back in stock vinyl. Obviously, I was just talking about the Pearl Jam. So it's well-timed that we have a copy of 10 in stock, back in stock, since we're doing the Pearl Jam party on April 14th, if you're in the area and you're into Pearl Jam. But I've kind of gotten into Pearl Jam lately. I really like the new singles. What can I say? I'm late to the party. That is Pearl Jam 10. It's $24.99. The single LP, Even Flow, Alive, Black, Jeremy. Yeah, you know. You know. $24 for Pearl Jam. That is Miss Taylor Swift, $30.99 for Evermore, back in stock. We have the Jim Blossoms. Phoenix Band. Jennifer loved the Jim Blossoms. We were talking about another band the other night from Phoenix, I guess. Icon, remember them? They were like a heavy metal band from like the early 80s, around 84. 
I don't know. I'd never heard of them. Uh, Gin Blossoms, $24.99. New Miserable Experience. Ooh, here's a live Pearl Jam bootleg. I was talking about this one. We had one last week, and this one is live at the Fox Theater in Atlanta, 1994. So this has got uh, Dissident on it, Better Man, Daughter, Rearview, Mirror, Even Flow, Jeremy, Black, and Alive, if you like some uh, live music. It's on color vinyl, and it's $15.99, so pretty cheap. Uh, the Wallflowers. This has been wished into existence. Uh, 20th anniversary, first time on vinyl. It's got one headlight. Jacob Dylan, obviously, bringing down the horse, and it's $39.99 for a... Well, that's, I guess it's not a gatefold, so there you go. Karn will take um, Pearl Jam's bootleg. Uh, who will? Karn. Oh, Karn. Karen. <laughs> okay, cool. Karin, uh, sorry, I didn't hear you. You spoke so softly, Audrey. I need you to be like... Yell from over here. Sure, why not? You can yell. Oh, we got some stuff on the on, on the uh, on the boogie board here behind... Uh, well, not behind me, but in front of me. Got The Clash. That really super cool 12-inch single with Should I Stay or Should I Go on it. And the art on the cover is fantastic. We got The Power Slave there. We got The Great White from last night. Both of those from last night. We got Marie and the Diamonds, Electric Heart. Uh, kind of a hard record, modern record to find. Little Feet and Van Morrison, a UK press of uh, his record. All right. This is on white and true metal gray marble vinyl. This is vulgar display of power. Pantera back in stock. This is $29.99. This is an indie store exclusive. So you can't get this anywhere else, which I appreciate. Pantera. Some of these bands, you know, like, yeah. We support indie stores, say like uh, Pearl Jam and Pantera. Then you got other bands that are like Metallica and stuff like that. We're like, we're taking our stuff to Walmart. Mr. Lars, I think that's Lars's revenge for Napster. I, I do believe that is. And then we got one more copy of uh, Pantera as well. Glenn will take Pantera and Wallflowers. All right, cool. Glenn grabs Pantera and Wallflowers. Very nice. Thank you, Glenn. I will hand these to Audrey. That's on uh, a walk. Hostiles on here. Nice. Very nice. And then, uh, yeah, since I'm a Minnesota boy, I kind of have to like the Wallflowers. Uh, although I'm not as much of a fan of um, Bob Dylan himself. So. And then Jeff will take from the first critic key, um, Brian May and Eddie. Oh, okay. Cool. And then Jeff would like the other Pantera. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. So Jeff Graham grabs a vulgar display of power, and then I think it's towards the back a little more. Uh, and then also grabs the Brian May and Eddie Van Halen record. They actually did like a super deluxe box version or something of Starfleet, the Brian May record. And uh, yeah, it's really expensive, but uh, it's cool. And they had like outtakes and stuff, so you'd hear like Eddie talking in the studio when they were recording the stuff. But yeah, I think that was like $150 or something. But yeah, so for, for 14 bucks, you get uh, Starfleet with Eddie and uh, Brian May. Very cool. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. This is Pearl Jam Versus. And this is the uh, vinyl version, obviously. <laughs> this is the vinyl version. Wow. I would have never guessed that. Uh, $30.99 for Versus. It's got my song on it, which I love, which is Animal. My favorite Pearl Jam song of all time. Fantastic record. And it is a gatefold. So, and it is a single LP, so you don't have to get up and change the album like 18 times, like some of these records. Uh, that is uh, on white and whiskey brown marble vinyl. This is Cowboys from Hell, $29.99 for Pantera. Very nice. Um, do I have a preference? I know most people like Vulgar Display of Power a little more. I might go with Cowboys from Hell. That's just me. What do you want? Uh, uh, Jeff will take Oh, Jeff wants the other Pantera. Cool. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate it. Oh, am I paying? Am I, is it Glenn or Jeff? Uh, Jeff commented first. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Thanks, Jeff. All right. So Jeff gets that. He commented first. Thanks, Jeff. Um, yeah. So I'll put this to the side over here, Audrey. This is Audrey's playing a little catch up on her note taking. This is a beefy version of Guns N' Roses' greatest hits. It's a 2LP on black vinyl. Includes the bonus track of Shadow of Your Love. It's 44, 40, let me try that again. 45.99, and it pretty much has 
everything on it you'd expect jungle sweet child of mine shadow of your love patience paradise city knocking on heaven's door civil war love that song you could be mine don't cry the original version november rain let live and let die yesterday's ain't it fun since i don't have you in sympathy with the devil so if you're getting into guns and roses or your completest this is a really cool record and it's like i said it's beefy it's really weighty so it's cool there but part of me i know jen and i haven't really completed our guns and roses collection i kind of want to do that because i even want chinese democracy i even want the spaghetti incident i just want all those records and lose your lose your illusion in one and two i know i prefer number one to number two on Use Your Illusion, but Jen was like giving me the track list of Use Your Illusion 2, which we don't have in stock, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not trying to sell anything here. I'm just I'm just talking. And uh, man, Use Your Illusion 2 is good too. So I don't know. All right, here you go. ACDC live at the uh, Agora Ballroom in Cleveland, August 22nd, 1977. This is on color vinyl as well. I don't know what color that is. Maybe Jennifer does. It's $15.99. Here's the set list. It's Live Wire, She's Got Balls, Problem Child, High Voltage, The Jack, Please Don't Go, and The Rocker. Well, a rocker. So there you go. And it's the classic lineup with Angus, Bon Scott, Cliff Williams, Malcolm, and Phil Rudd. So cool cover, too. Bon Scott and Malcolm. No Angus on the cover. How about that? But Angus gets the back cover in color on that one. So very cool. Ace of Spades, Motorhead, $30.99 for their classic record. Yeah, what can you say about that? It's just, yeah, Lemmy. Lemmy is God, they say. Okay, so that's the end of our new vinyl restock there. And this is some more stuff, some no, new pre-owned vinyl that we uh, have seen, clean, graded, all that good stuff. You know all this stuff. Anyways, so here it is, Fascination, The Human League. This is actually like a six song 12 inch single so and i do love fascination it's a great song so there you go uh more elo nine dollars vg plus plus copy on that and this is uh, excellent by the way on the human league record this is uh spyro gyra and that's excellent on the vinyl nine dollars that's uh catching the sun got a little jay giles band for five dollars now this had a kind of a pretty big and so we did play test this as well, and it sounds great because I love the song Centerfold. That song has stood the test of time. So it's kind of got a bigger scratch on side one with freeze frame and centerfold on it, but there was no problem playing it. It sounded great. So there you go, $5, but we graded it VG because, uh, yeah, just want to be careful. Asia, that is uh, $9. Excellent copy of the vinyl there. Key to the moment among the songs on there. Wang Chung. Everybody, I loved it in that episode of Cheers when Frazier comes in. On the radio, I heard some interesting, inspiring words, and he comes in and he says, everybody have fun tonight, everybody Wang Chung tonight. Unfortunately, that song is not on this record by Wang Chung, and it's $5, VG++ copy, the warmer side of cool. How much was the Human League? Record? The Human League was, I believe, $9, so yeah. Nine dollars for that one. All right, flash dance. What a feeling! Five dollars VG plus copy on that. And uh, yeah, there you go. Maniac, Michael Cimbello. I know everybody loved the the single. Uh, flash dance. What a feeling! Irene Cara, fantastic. But give me Maniac. That was great. Mark Knopfler. All right. VG plus copy on this one. The music uh, from the motion picture Local Hero. This is a well-regarded record. $5. Don't Say No, Billy Squire. Is this Don't Say No? Yeah. VG copy, $5. But it's got In the Dark on it, The Stroke, My Kind of Lover. Paul Young, a little more 80s love. $5. VG plus plus copy for Mr. Paul Young. It does not have Every Time You Go Away to pair it with... Uh, the planes, trains, and automobiles. So you could not still complete the collection there on the movie soundtrack. Pointer Sisters, Breakout, $5. VG plus copy. That is Gloria Estevan and the Miami Sound Machine, Let It Loose. VG plus plus, $5. I like this record. This is, I think, Tony Carey. 
was in this band. He did that song, A Fine, Fine Day, which is a great song. That fell over, Audrey. I know. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, uh, I think he was in Planet P as well before he did his solo record. And this is a VG copy. And this has got uh, Why Me on it, which is a great song. This is the Whitmore Sisters. I know you've been waiting for an album from the Whitmore Sisters. This is Ghost Stories. Excellent copy. Black vinyl. And it is uh, $5. Thompson Twins, 12-inch single, Hold Me Now, $5, BG+. Plus. That is Superstars, what? Superstars Stamped in Gold, 2LP set with Air Supply, Blondie. Well, i got to check this set list out. The Police, wait, hang on a second. Let me check out the track list on this bad boy. I'm All Right by Kenny Loggins, I approve. We got um, Don't Stand So Close to Me by The Police, The Tide is High by Blondie. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Whip It by Devo. Wow. This is a 2LP. A lot of love, air supply. Hold on, Loosely 38 Special. Hit me with your best shot, Pat Benatar. I Want to Be Your Lover by Prince. Brass in Pocket by The Pretenders. Games People Play by Alan Parsons Project. I Was Made for Loving You by Kiss is on here. Oh, anyways. That's five bucks. Excellent copy. So, hey, if you just want to put on a record and jam... That's not a bad, that's a great deal. And then finally, Genesis, Genesis Abacab. The vinyl is in excellent condition, and it is five beans. Karn will take Planet P. Planet P. Oh, nice. Karn and I have very similar tastes in music. I, I do, uh, there it is. Good record from uh, Tony Carey and company there. So, All right, uh, one more time through on this one, Pearl Jam, $24.99 for Versus, that's a new vinyl, brand new. That is uh, Taylor Swift, $30.99 for... Um, sorry, Karn and Glenn, or no, sorry. Karn and Mike both commented for Superstar Nights. Karn got it first. All right. And then Paula was like Billy Squire. Karn uh, commented first, Mike was second. Uh, so Karn gets uh, the uh, Superstar Hits, very cool. And then Billy Squire goes to Paula, you said? Yes. All right, cool. Billy Squire. Uh, so where was I? Okay, so $30.99 for Taylor Swift. The Chin Blossoms, $24.99. New Miserable Experience. What is on here? Is this Follow Me Down on here? Hold Me Down. Oh, Allison Road. You know there is an Allison Road here in Phoenix? Jennifer was telling me about that. I think it's over in somewhere. And uh, Hey Jealousy is on here as well. Follow you down. Hmm. I thought that was on here. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's on the next up record, but still, good record. Pearl Jam versus 3099. Remember the Pearl Jam party, April 14th, 1 p.m. The new album, Dark Matter. 4599 for Guns N' Roses, Greatest Hits, 2 LP. ACDC, 1599, live at the Agora Ballroom in Cleveland, Cleveland, Bon Scott era. That is Motorhead, thirty ninety nine for the Ace of Spades. And then some more pre-owned vinyl, as mentioned. That is uh, Human League for nine. El Dorado, nine. By ELO, Spyro Gyra, nine. Jay Giles Band, five. Asia, that's nine. Wang Chung, five. That Flash Dance for five. Local Hero for five. We got a little Paul Young for five. We got Breakout by the Pointer Sisters. This is a good record, five dollars. It's got uh, Jump for My Love, Automatic, I'm So Excited, Neutron Dance, yeah, good stuff. Um, what do we got here? Gloria Esteban, five. We've got uh, the Whitmore Sisters for five. Whoops. <laughs> We've got Thompson Twins for five. That's a 12-inch single. And then finally, Abacab from Phil Collins, Tony Rutherford, and Mike Rutherford. Tony Banks and Mike Rutherford. Almost. All right. Denise will take ACDC. Ooh, nice. And then Roger will take Mark, Mark Knopfler. Oh, Mark Knopfler. Nice. Okay. I've given up trying to convince Audrey that Mark Knopfler is one of the greatest guitarists of all time. And now I'm going to embrace her love of Van Halen. I realize that she's into Van Halen and Bon Jovi. And I'm like, yeah, I can let the whole Mark Knopfler and Dire Straits. I think she'd like Mark Knopfler and the Dire Straits stuff, but I've let it go. So there you go. Thank you for those. I'll put these over here, Audrey. 
And then, um, so we'll run through this first crate one more time, then we'll get to the $4 records. So I'm just gonna do a quick recap on this first crate, then we'll get to the $4 records. We did have the uh, single for Faith No More, Falling to Pieces, $29, backed with We Care A Lot and Underwater Love, so very nice. Uh, then the planes, trains, and automobiles, if you're interested, well, let me know. Recapping, succession, sealed, numbered, faith no more, angel dust. That is uh, some kind of wonderful. That is the trifold anniversary edition from, I think, four years ago on silver vinyl. In excess, listen like thieves. Shabu Shaba, very nice. We had uh, Terrence Trent Darby, the talking heads. Sade, if you need prices on anything, just type them into the chat and we'll get you a price. Uh, the Escape Club, $14, fine. There you go, I told you the price there. Foreigner, inside information, that's still sealed. Steel Pulse, Ghostbusters, making movies. She's making movies, Van Morrison. The Outlaws, REO Speedwagon, Tainted Love, The Fat Boys, REO again. Wait, did I? Have REO twice? Oh, yeah, it was REO twice. Uh, Steve Winwood, ELO, Elvis Costello, and the great Alice Cooper. All right, let's run through a $4 crate that you guys are going to get a chance to see first, and then all this uh, these $4 records will be going out and do our $4 bins. So, yeah, there you go. Early access from the comfort of your favorite chair. Very nice. So these are all $4. They're not graded. And they're not cleaned, so there you go. If you see something you like, let me know. That's Willie Nelson and family, Honeysuckle Rose. We've got, I'm always interested to see some of these crazy records that I may not even know. This is Crack the Sky, Live Sky. Don't know. How much was the NXS record? The NXS? Yeah. Uh, the NXS, the Listen Like Thieves is 29, BG plus condition. And the Shabu Shaba is BG plus uh, and that is 24. This is the tubes, the complete backward principle. That, these are all $4. What is this? Leader of the pla Oh, leader of the pack. It's the original supercharged rock and roll hits with leader of the pack, blue suede shoes, whole lot of shaking going on. Oh, that's pretty good. Chapel of Love. Oh, that's pretty good, too. Uh, Boy from New York City. Oh, this is pretty good. I know all these songs. I want them. I want to. I want to love him so bad. Baby Be Mine. Yeah, that's cool. Xanadu soundtrack with ELO and uh, Olivia. Everything in here, $4. And that is Bob Seeker and the Silver Bullet Band Against the Wind. A little more uh, Robert Johnson here. Not familiar with him. He looks like somebody, I can't think, it was, oh, he looks a little bit like Steve from Steve and Edie. Am I crazy? I don't know. Al Stewart, You're the Cat, $4. Todd Rundgren, $4. Nice. Tom Scott. I don't know who that is. Sorry, Tom. Intimate Strangers. More Tom Scott. And he looks completely different in this one. This is Desire. I guess it's the same guy. Not sure, though. Oh, the tubes. Randy. Hey, Randy. Good to, uh, good to hear from you. Hope you're feeling better. Uh, the tubes, so four dollars. I'll uh, put that over here and give that to Audrey. All right, what else is in here? Steve Winwood, Ark of the Diver, and that is uh, waiting for Bardot. I'm sure that's like Bridget Bardot, maybe. Uh, Los Lasers, kind of a cool album cover, if you ask me. Don't know anybody in this band, nope, nobody. Danny Cox is in the band, but I don't think it's the Danny Cox I know, who pitched in like the 1985 World Series for the St. Louis Cardinals against the Kansas City Royals, which the uh, Royals won, I, I do believe. George Bretton Company, Frank White, UL Washington. Come on, man. All right, uh, Stars Born, Judy Garland. Very cool, $4. This is Lynx, Lips Incorporated, Funky Town, $4. This, what is this? This is just uh, Miss Con Funk Shun. Okay. That's a 12-inch single. This is the Steve Howe album, obviously playing off the Yes thing there. And that's $4. Uh, this is uh, Easy Rider soundtrack. We got Dick Clark's Rockin' and Roll. What's on here? I just, looked to look, I, also looked to, I just love to look at these compilations and see. Let's see, we got 
Bill Haley, Rock Around the Clock, Carl Perkins, Johnny Cash, I Walked the Line, Fats Domino. A whole lot of shaking going on by Jerry Lee Lewis, the Everly Brothers, Paul Anka. Some of these compilations are pretty good. You throw them on, you listen to some OG music, so good stuff there. Karin wants Judy Garland. Oh, Judy Garland. All right, cool. Thanks, Karin. Judy Garland goes to Karin. Uh, what's up next here? Oh, the best of Britain. 20 original hits, 20 original stars. Who's on here? No, no, don't know. The Searchers, I guess I've heard of them. Dave Clark 5, Mungo Jerry. The zombies, uh huh. Yeah, the Kinks, Sunday after sunny afternoon, and uh, Donovan, Universal Soldier. That's it. Maybe not the best one in my humble opinion, but what do you what do you want? Uh, jukebox Jive. Look at this. It's a cutout. Twenty original hits. Again, Frankie Avalon, Paul Anka, Bill Holly in the comments. On the comments and the comments. No, not the comments. The comments. Oh my goodness. And yeah, okay. And then there's Frampton Comes Alive for $4, two LP. There you go. Stevie Wonder, Skeletons. Got Boss Skaggs here. This one's uh, got a little bit of a uh, seam split on the top of the jacket, so buyer beware. Linda Ronstead. Very nice. Gordon Lightfoot. Mm -hmm. Gord's Gold. Got a little more uh, Neil Diamond. Double gold. Got Neil Diamond again. I'm glad you're here with me tonight. Well, in that jacket, everybody is could not resist Neil Diamond, right? Mm, not sure on any of the tracks on that record. Oh, Gary Wright, my nemesis. I think this is the Dreamweaver record. It is my nemesis. Rod Stewart is Jennifer's nemesis. Gary Wright is my nemesis. And who's your nemesis again? I forget. Me? Yeah. You've got a nemesis. I thought she, I thought Audrey had a nemesis. Steely, Steely Dan, no. Todd Rundgren. Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan is there. That's right. It's Bob Dylan. That's her nemesis. Anyways, next next time you're in the store, ask us why these are all our nemesis. Uh, Gary uh, Gary Weaver is mine. Jen, Todd <laughs> Stewart, and Bob Dylan for uh, Audrey. Uh, this is uh, Encore of the Golden Hits, the Platters. There you go. Very nice. Who doesn't love the Platters? Good stuff there. And that jacket's in nice condition. Uh, Andres uh, Volenwilde down to the moon. We've got uh, Outside, Inside the Tubes. Is that like a tube single? Hang on a second. That looks like the tubes. That's Feeway Bell. Yeah, another tubes record. In case you're interested. It's got like a cutout there in the middle. That's what confused me. George Thorogood and the Delaware Destroyers. That is Bad to the Bone. Is anything on here besides Bad to the Bone? Now, Bad to the Bone is worth it, but I was thinking, I'm looking for like, I drink alone, when I, but I prefer to, when I, when I drink alone, I prefer to be by myself and one shot, one bourbon, one beer. Cat Stevens, Greatest Hits. Got a little Phoebe Snow. Got some more Boss Gags. We got some Leo Sayer. This is, this album cover, it just, it gets to me. I, I want to, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Roxy Music, oh, Roxy Music's cool. Manifesto. That is Joe Cocker. He's cool. He's from Sheffield, England, just like the Human League and just like uh, Def Leppard. Joe Cocker again. we got Kansas. Which album is this? This is two for the show. Very nice. we got more Joe Cocker. Everybody loves Joe Cocker. We got Heart. I've never heard of this Heart record. Private Audition. And I don't know any songs off this record. That is definitely Anne. And that is definitely Nancy. But other than that, I don't know. Um, Randy will take the other Tubes record. Oh, Randy Graham's the other Tubes record. Cool. I will pull that out right here. All right, there you go. That one goes to Randy. Thank you. And then also I've got Glenn Fry's The All-Nighter for $4. Uh, what's on here? Smuggler's Blues. There you go. Is You Belong to the City on that record? Mm, really, I guess not. Maybe that's on another uh, Mr. Uh, Glenn Fry record. And there he goes. Uh, but I don't think this has uh, You Belong to the City on it either. So that is uh, Soul Searching from uh, Glenn uh, Fry. Bonnie Rate, Give It Up. Isaac Perlman. And encores, and that is Robert Palmer. 
Some people can do what they like. Interesting. And then finally, life stories from uh, Earl Klug. Very cool. So there you go. There's the uh, $4 bin. And uh, yeah, hopefully you found something interesting tonight. I know uh, many of you did, and we always appreciate it. Thank you so much. And look forward to seeing you if you're local here um, coming up uh, over the weekend. We're open on Sunday because obviously it's not Easter this, 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 this weekend. And then, um, yeah, and then if you've ordered something, we'll be sending out invoices like we have been on Saturday morning. And then if you, uh, if, if it's, if you're, if, if you're out of state, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, get it shipped on Monday then. Um, so there you go. That's kind of what's going on there. Um, oh, the faith no more. Sure. What's that? I said I knew you were doing that. Oh, sure. Yeah, I can go over that one. That's uh, the 12 inch single. That's 29, not, not 12 inch, 7 inch single. $29. That is falling to pieces with all the guys and then back. Whoa! That landed the softest land I've ever had in my life, thank God. That was a soft landing. It's like a cat. Um, and then backed with uh, We Care a Lot, which I love that song. And then Underwater Love, which I'm not familiar with. That's $29. The other. The other angel dust uh, was the music on vinyl from 2003. Nope, 2013. Sorry about that. It's a beautiful copy. The vinyl is excellent. The jacket is fantastic. And it shines, baby. That is 149 if you're interested. A lot of songs on here, obviously. Some of them are a little risque in their naming. But a beautiful copy of angel dust. If you're interested, that's 149. That's a record that I'm going to be proud to put on the wall, just like planes, trains, and automobiles. Sometimes, you know, you get records and it's just like I kind of want them on the wall, but then you know, obviously, you want them to find a new home, but you kind of want them on the wall. And uh, yeah, some kind of modern rock, early 90s rock is always fun to have. Like we had a copy of Versus. Was it Versus? Yeah. That was like an OG copy. It was fantastic. It had like concert tickets from when uh, they were here. Pearl Jam was here like twice in 94. So that was super cool. So anyway, so that's kind of uh, what's going on. I'm going to take another drink of water here. Whoops. Something just fell, Audrey. Apologize for the noise. There it is. Okay, cool. All right. Um, so that's the big show, I think. Uh, for tonight, uh, we'll be back tomorrow night with some more stuff. That's some Janet Jackson. That's some U2. What else? Uh, Pink Floyd. I always love Pink Floyd. And then uh, I was, I was, I made a comment uh, today that, you know, like the big four of metal. There's like Metallica. There's Megadeth. There's Anthrax, and there's Slayer. I've got a big four of '70s sort of rock bands, sort of '70s bands. My big four. In the 70s, all due respect to everybody else, whether it's Black Sabbath or the Stones or Led Zeppelin, I bing for Pink Floyd, Queen, Fleetwood Mac, and the Beatles. Top that. That top four cannot be topped, in my humble opinion. So, there Can you I go. just claim the record? I don't even know how to pronounce it. Um, would you like to take a peek? Oh, sure. Um, oh, I, it's like it, I know how to say it. it's like Perlman. I think I said Isaac Perlman, but I'm sure he goes that, by Isaac. I was gonna as say well. Perlman, it, but I didn't know what it's like. It, yeah, I, know, I know how to say it, but sometimes a little, little bit of a tongue twister. So there you go. All right, cool. Uh, thanks everybody for coming out, and uh, yeah, that's the big show. It's in the books. Stop by this weekend if you get some time. We got some cool stuff on the wall. We just bought another collection. That's coming next week. It has some Tesla in it. Yeah. It has some, uh, what was it, Van Halen? Yeah. It has some um, Lita Ford. Yeah. <laughs> what else was in that collection? There was some really cool stuff. There was two Tesla records, actually. So get psyched for that. And then, um, and these are all OG copies. So I was like, oh, this is nice. Uh, there was some other stuff that was really cool, too. So, anyways, just a little tease for next week on some stuff. Um, but, yeah, um, I will be in the store on Friday, and then Audrey will join me a little later in the day. On Saturday, Audrey and I will be here. And then Sunday, Jen and I 
will actually be filling in for Sandy because Sandy has gone to Los Angeles to see her sons. Um, so that's very cool. I was good when a mother goes to see her sons who are in the music industry actually as well. And uh, her son is doing a live show uh, on, I think, Sunday night or something like that, I think. And Sandy works the merch table for her son. Very cool. And then so Jen and I on Sunday will be in the store as well. So Jen will be in the store on Sunday in case you want to stop by and say hello to Jen. I'm sure she'd love to see see you. And if uh, she hasn't met you, I'm sure she would uh, love that as well. Jen loves to talk music, man. She loves to talk music. That's what I love about Jenny. She loves herself some music. That's how we got together because we love music, right? So cool. That's it. We good, Audrey? We're good. All right. My, uh, my time at the mic is done, and I uh, will see you all tomorrow, whether in store or tomorrow night on the live stream. So thanks for coming out, and uh, tell a friend if uh, that would help us, and then like the post as well, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook. That always helps as well. So thank you so much. Have a great night.